Hey everyone, HHO for all. This is going to be a quick video on how to disassemble a PC power supply and convert it over to an HHO lab supply. Um, the PC power supply that I'm using is a iMicro PSUL400W. Uh, if you Google this, you should be able to find it online for pretty cheap. I will put a link to this item online where I found it for I think it was like twelve dollars and I think the shipping and handling was like four or five bucks so you can get this for less than twenty bucks and this is actually rated for twelve volts at twenty six amps so it should be a decent little power supply once I get it all set up so anyway I'm gonna start the process um, these are the tools that you're gonna need You'll just need a basic Phillips head screwdriver, um, pair of scissors, and some cable ties. That's it. So I'm going to get started, and here we go. Okay, so the first things first. What you have to do is you need to cut off every single connector. Just cut it right at the base of each connector. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to separate all of these wires by color. So they're all going to be color coded. And then you're going to use your cable ties to group them together. So that way they're separate. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll come back to camera in just a second once it's all done. Okay, so I've cut off all the ends. And this is all the leftover stuff here. Um, another thing that... Uh, that I just thought about is that you're going to want to remove, there's four screws, one on each corner of the power supply. So you turn it over and then remove these screws because this is going to give you better access to these wires to group them. So just go through this process. Just uh, bear with me for a minute. A little bit hard to do this one-handed. Just take a second to get these out. Okay, now that the most exciting part of doing this is done, take off this metal case, the metal cover here, and then you'll see down inside, I've already done this, um, I went through and pulled out each color and then I used a cable tie to keep them separate and then I fed them through this stupid little nub thing that slips down over the end there. Um, so anyway, what you'll really want to do is you'll want to go along these the cables. The ones that you're going to need for a 12 volt power supply, it's really, really simple. You're going to need yellow which is going to be your positive 12 volt lead. So you're going to want to keep all of those separate. And then you're going to want all of the black wires, which are your negative leads. And then you're going to want your gray and green wire. Um, the purple and the blue that are left over, you're not going to use them. The orange, you're not going to use the red, you're not going to use. So what you can actually do is you can snip these off real short and then fold them over, use another cable tie so that way you don't have any hot leads touching anything on the inside of this case here. Um, you could even go as far as to use a hot glue gun and just uh, cover the tips of each wire so that way you absolutely will not have any shorts. Um, the nice thing about this power supply is it already has a nice little switch right here. And this switch, to bypass it so that you don't have to install a second switch, you can take this green and the gray wire and you just simply splice them together. And you connect these two together and that makes this switch turn on or off whenever you plug in the power. Very simple. Keep it as simple as possible. 
So anyway, I'm going to bundle up these wires, turn off the camera, and turn it back on when I'm done, and then uh, we'll carry on with the next step. Okay, so I just thought of another thing that would really make it easier than putting hot glue on there. Um, just use electrical tape. You know, you just wrap up the ends and then just use yourself a nice little cable tie to fold it over and pull it in tight. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so each one of these little bundles, the red wires and the orange wires, and the blue wire and the purple wire. Um, I just taped those individually and then as a whole I grouped them all together with one cable tie and then uh, just cinched them in real close there and then you'll see I did cable ties probably about every two inches or so to group these together so they're nice and neat and um, at the very ends here, what you want to do is you want to snip it off so that they're all the same length. And then you'll want to uh, actually peel these back about a quarter of an inch and then hook up a connector on the end. Um, that's pretty much about that. And then uh, there's the green and the gray wire, which I spliced together. It's very simple. Nothing to it. And then you just tuck that back in over here and then you put your case back on and I'll be back in a second okay now that you've got the case back on there all nice and neat then you put the screws back into it and I'm not going to bore you with that process because I already bored you with pulling the screws out so I will be back in a second okay so there we go uh, now that you got all four of those screws back in the plate uh, turn it right side up and then you want to take your leads and peel them back about a quarter of an inch hook up your connector on there and the other thing to keep in mind is on your positive lead which is the yellow wire you're going to want to hook up a circuit breaker not a, not a fuse you don't want to hook up a fuse because you'll blow through fuses one after the other after the other if you're testing any sort of device that goes over the amperage that your power supply is rated at so you want to do a circuit breaker. Um, this one's rated at 26 amps, so I've actually ordered a 25 amp circuit breaker. It's a 12 volt circuit breaker. I will put links on the sidebar so you guys have all the same resources for all the materials that I got to put this exactly the same way together as I did. So um, anyway, uh, the rule of thumb, at least for me, has been uh, if, if the power supply is rated at, say, 26 amps you want to go with something that's a little bit less so that way you're not going to burn it out and you're not going to stress out the components inside the power supply so if you had a, a 20 amp power supply I would recommend that you don't get a 20 amp circuit breaker you get maybe a 15 amp circuit breaker uh, just to be on the safe side but um, if you're buying all the materials that I've shown in this video then you should have yourself a very decent 25 amp HHO lab power supply. So that's that. Uh, I think I've covered just about everything. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions if I can. So anyway, this has been HHO for all. I'm out of here. Have a nice night.